Thanks, Victor. Uh, congratulations to North Texas. Uh, I thought they played extremely well. Uh, that stretch in the first half where they um, went on that dominant run on the offensive glass and the 50-50 balls uh, was, a, was a great separator. They were able to build their lead. Uh, we knew going in, you know, a top 40 defense. Uh, I thought they were able to be very disruptive there uh, at times, and uh, especially our two-point scoring. They made it really difficult on us. I thought we were uh, efficient from behind the three-point line, 15 assists. That was a good number for us. Uh, but 14 to 37 from two-point range, I believe, or 16 to 37. Uh, and I think their defense had a lot to do with that. Um, but credit to North Texas, a uh, great three-point shooting team, top 15 in the country that showed that tonight. Uh, was proud of our players' fight uh, to get back into the game. Had a couple opportunities to make it a two-possession game, or uh, one-possession game there in the last minute and a half, but, but we weren't able to do so. Um, so, you know, with that said, you know, obviously we're disappointed. Uh, wanted to advance in the tournament and have opportunity to keep playing. Uh, but I have great appreciation for our players, uh, their effort, their resiliency this season, uh, for the improvements that have been made in the program, uh, and their ability to get us into the postseason. Coach, thank you. Trey Hannibal, also nice enough to join us. We'll let him get situated in the middle. So first round of questions, please, for the players. If you'll please address which player you're asking a question to. Then we'll let Trey and Jordan go. We'll go back, and you can ask questions for Coach. Yeah, I guess both of you guys can answer this. I know not the finish to the season you guys probably would have liked, but just um, you guys, obviously, fifth-year seniors, guys that you know probably you know are not going to be back next year. Just the way you found the program and the way you're leaving it, just kind of maybe talk about just where where you think this is going from here. Uh, I'm definitely excited for the future. I mean. Coming in this year, I honestly didn't know what to expect. I mean, Coach did an amazing job of preparing us, getting us ready. Um, and I think we went in and fought. I think you can see from this team, we, we might not have finished the way we wanted to, but every game we fought, we never laid down, we never quit. And I think for the guys coming back, they know what it takes now. They know what it looks like to win. They know what it looks like to be in big games, um, how to be impactful at this level. Um, so I think me and Trey, um, I hope that's the, the thing that we've um, left with the young guys, how to win. Um, how to perform and prepare for big games, and ultimately how to be successful. Um, you know, I think us as leaders kind of led the way with that. I think Trey did a great job down the stretch for us of being our emotional leader, uh, being just running a team, kept, keeping everyone afloat. Um, so it's, it's a lot of credit to Coach, a lot of credit to Trey, a lot of credit to this team for, for being resilient and getting better as the season went on. Uh, yeah, I mean, Jordan basically summed it up. Uh, you know, and coming in from last year, you know, it was – as you can see, it was a whole different, whole different team, and you know, uh, I think just having the mindset, of being tough, you know, willing to work every day, and just coming in with the right mindset and having fun, you know, the staff, you know, they do an exceptional job. So, kudos to them, and you know, I think we, you know, we left on a, a solid note. So, Jordan Trey just talked about the mindset. I mean, y'all had come back from double digits a bunch this year. Got down 18, got it back to five in, with some time left. What did it feel like at the end? Did it feel like one of those were coming on? Oh, yeah. I, I said it with 50 seconds left. We're going to win this game. Um, I knew if we could get it to single digits with about a minute and a half left, that we had a chance. I thought we did have some chances there late um, to, to come out victorious. So ultimately, didn't, you know, the ball didn't bounce our way, but it just shows the, the character of this team, the character of the guys in this locker room. I would have loved to win the game, but, you know, it's a process. It, it, everything's not going to happen at the time that you want it. Um, but it, it's a building block. It's, it's a learning lesson. It's a learning lesson. Um, so these guys could take with them. I could take it the next step in my career. The guys coming back could take it um, into the next season. Trey, um, anything surprised you about what North Texas did? Was their pace a little bit quicker than you might have been expecting? Uh, it really isn't. Really wasn't their pace. I mean, I would say they were just more physical, you know. And in a game, you know, where we want to dominate, you know, the physicality, rebounds, things like that, getting fifty-fifty balls. Like, and I think they did that exceptionally well, you know. Man, I think that's basically, you know, how they won the game, you know, with a lot of second chance opportunities, and you know, they just they just got hot. So kudos to them. 
Trey, y'all beat them 36 to 10 on in the paint last time, and they said they were. That was probably their main emphasis was to get the ball inside. That they let y'all get it inside too easy last time. Could you feel that they were kind of playing a little differently tonight? That uh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, they played great team defense. You know, uh, out of their rotations, they help a lot. Baseline, <laughs> bigs, guards, whether you're in the post or not, but. It just goes back to toughness. I just think they were just tougher than us, you know, in certain situations, the 50 50 balls. And, you know, you just got to want it in games like these. You can't get these back. So I think they wanted it a lot more than we did. So. And I'll get you with one more. Just kind of that toughness and tenacity that they showed. Is it important for the younger players that you talked about earlier to understand that that's the kind of effort you have to bring every night? Uh, no doubt. No doubt. I think, you know, it don't, doesn't really come down to talent all the time. I think toughness wins, not only in the SEC, but across all basketball, every facet of it. Um, you know, I think they came out, like Trey said, they played tough than us. I think we showed that fight, that toughness that we needed in the second half. Um, but yeah, definitely the toughness aspect of the game is is very important. I think we kind of learned that as the season went on, for sure. Yeah, I guess, Matt, just kind of the same thing. I mean, you, you can emulate it only so much in practice. They have to get it in the game and, and fight it out, I guess. Was your roster equipped, or is it still maybe a learning process for them to, to, to fight in these tough games like that, physical games? Well, I think you just get to this time of the year, and, and you are who you are as a team. Uh, we knew who they were. Um, they got a really good basketball team. and. We knew they were a top 15 three-point shooting team in the country, and they, they shot the ball exceptionally well from three. Uh, we knew they were a top 40 offensive rebounding team, that that would be a key. Uh, we knew they were a top 40 defensive efficiency team in the country, that we would have to execute at a high level on our offensive end. Um, you know, they were the better team tonight. It's the bottom line. You know, I realize you know, the record's a little deceiving as they went through league play. Well, they played five games without Nolan, Dan, Reuben Jones, two really good guards. You know, Reuben Jones missed 11 of their league games, you know, really good player. Uh, so they've gotten back healthy. And I thought they played really well tonight. And they deserve a lot of credit for that. We did dominate the paint in the first matchup. I know that was four months ago. Um, but their physicality really bothered us at the rim. That's why I mentioned the 16 of 37 from two point range. I thought when we drove it and drew two and, and made the right play and moved the ball, we got some open threes and guys shot it well. Uh, 15 assists, which has been a good number for us on the year, one of, probably one of our higher assist games. Uh, but some of those tough twos where we were unable to finish at the basket, uh, they made us pay on the other end. Matt, when you go back, I think the first 10 minutes, uh, you'll, you'll like what you saw. You were leading 17-11, and then they hit you with the five threes. and wound up scoring 27 in the second 10 minutes of the first half. Did, did you feel like, obviously, that changed the game? But I mean, you felt pretty good at that point, I would imagine, with a 17-11. Yeah, I thought we got off to a good start. Uh, the ball was moving. thought we got some good looks. Uh, I thought our defensive effort was really good in that stretch. I thought where the game changed, uh, we had, I believe, held them to one offensive rebound at that point. They got six in that stretch. Uh, they beat us to some 50-50 plays on the floor. And I thought where they did a really nice job, they took those offensive rebounds and they converted them into points. On our, the offensive rebounds were about even for both teams. We averaged less than one point uh, per possession on our offensive rebounds. They averaged a point and a half. Uh, they kicked some of those out and knocked down some open threes and scramble situations. And, and I thought really did a nice job making the right plays there. Coach, coming into this, you kind of said the opportunity is there to get your younger guys just experience with the intensity of the postseason. And obviously, you guys weren't only here for one game. So you know, what's the takeaway with that short amount of time? Did you guys take something away that you think they can learn going forward? 
Well, I just look at the totality of the season at this point. You know, there'll be plenty of time to sit back and reflect on, on all of it. But uh, it's like anything in life. you got to look through the lens. What's your perspective? You know, I'm really proud of what our players have been able to accomplish. It was a challenging season in a lot of ways. Um, but you look back, I think I talked about it earlier this week on February 14th. We had just you know, missed a shot at the buzzer to extend a game at Florida to, to drop to four and seven in SEC play. And I thought our players responded all year long with great resiliency, um, handled success, handled failure well. Uh, we come back from that, we go on the road, win at South Carolina after being down 16 in the second half, come back, win at, against Kentucky here after being down 15 in the second half. Uh, found a way, learned how to win some tough games. And that enabled us to get to the top half of the SEC standings, to win nine league games, uh, to have the second biggest turnaround in, in Power Six basketball this year uh, when it comes to conference wins, and to ultimately get to the postseason. Uh, the NIT is not the tournament we we strive to play in here at LSU. Uh, so we got to get better. We got to build. We got to keep building. And that's what this offseason will be about uh, to keep building the program, uh, to take the next step, uh, which for us is getting to the NCAA tournament next year. That next step, obviously, it, it involves recruiting and adding players in the portal. But the pieces that you have that you that may be coming back, I mean, was there enough there that you feel comfortable in their growth and their continued growth that you can see a path? Yeah, I love our players. I, I think uh, in this new era, college basketball, there's a certain mix you want to have. I, I still believe in the player development model. Uh, when you're at a place at LSU where you can recruit the best players in the country, come in and keep getting better each and every year, keep developing and growing as players as you pursue your dreams of playing in the NBA. Uh, I think you have to have a hybrid model where you mix that with, through the use of the portal, uh, where you're able to have older experienced players as well. You know, I liked our mix, you know, year one, we had you know, zero returners and, and 12 new. You know, this year, the nine we finished the year with, five were returning players, four were newcomers. And I think that's kind of the balance you want to have as you move the program forward. Coach, I know you face physicality all season, but just with this kind of taste in your mouth, like what is the message to the players about how to respond to that physicality, you know, in the future, next season? Yeah, I think, you know, we play in the most physical league in the world outside of the NBA. So you know, it's just part of continuing to build the program. I mean, it's the number one offensive rebounding league in the country. It's the number one uh, shot blocking league in the country. Uh, there's obviously great physicality in this league. Um, so, you know, th that'll be part of our off season development, continue to get bigger, stronger. Obviously recruiting is a big part of that. And uh, keep building the program. Yeah, the last two games were super physical for you, but the, the, the game now is so perimeter oriented with guys wanting to shoot threes. Can, as a coach, can you build a team where it can be physical enough inside but still be a scoring threat from the outside? It, it, it seems like it's pulling in two different directions. Well, I think the best teams have that balance, right? As I mentioned with this league, you see the rim protection, best shot blocking league. You see the athleticism on the offensive glass. Um, but the reason our league was a lot better this year, the offenses were better. The three-point shooting was a lot better. Uh, you had teams scoring over 100 on a regular basis. So I think there's a certain balance you have to have there, uh, your ability to score at the rim, also to space the floor uh, with, with elite three-point shooting. And uh, you got to have guys that can make plays off the bounce. I mean, that's, that's, that's basketball, not just college basketball, but that's, that's basketball today. So. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to get to our player development program this spring. We're excited to keep recruiting uh, and keep building our program.